Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. Today I'm bringing you guys along with me as I bake and clean. I'm baking this super yummy pumpkin pie dump cake. Spoiler alert, it turns out fantastic. But before I go any further, I do want to mention that this is a collab with Miss Budget Bethany. She was so kind to agree to do this with me right off the bat. She's helped me so much and I just appreciate her. And if by any chance you are not already subscribed to her, please go subscribe right now. Her link will be in the description box below. I start by preheating my oven to 350 and then I add a 30 ounce can of pumpkin puree. I then used a cup and a half of milk and then three-fourths a cup of brown sugar. I only had light brown sugar, but it worked just fine. And then I added in three eggs. Here you'll see me putting in four scoops of this pumpkin pie spice. That's because I couldn't find my teaspoon and it calls for two teaspoons. So I had to do it four times with my half teaspoon, if that makes any sense. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Same with the ground cinnamon. It calls for one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, so I put two half teaspoons of ground cinnamon in there. And then I don't know what I was thinking here, <laughs> trying to mix this with a silicone spatula, but you'll see it eventually turns into a whisk because I finally, I was like, girl, what are you doing? After I got all my wet ingredients mixed up, I used half a bag of this cake mix and I saved the rest of it for here in a minute. So you wanna make sure that you smooth it all out real good and then take the remaining half of the bag of cake mix and just sprinkle it on top. And then the recipe calls for pecans, so I guess I got in my lumberjack fields with this hammer and this flannel, because I beat the tar out of these pecans. So I then just sprinkled all the crushed pecans real evenly all over the top of the cake. So when I first saw this recipe, I was taken aback by how much butter it calls for, but I understand why now, because that cake mix and those pecans, that's going to work as a strudel. It's kind of going to be a strudel texture once you get all of the butter on there because the butter melts down and gives it that texture. So without all that butter, it's going to be real sandy and gritty and, and nobody likes a gritty cake. <laughs> so I understand why it calls for so much now, but I have to admit right here, I was like, oh, okay, this is not, this is like a heart attack in a pan. Me, 
So while this is baking, I thought I'm just going to go ahead and tackle all these dishes and countertops. And that is just what I did. Thankfully, I did because by the time this got done and I cut me a piece and that sugar and butter hit me, I was comed out for the rest of the evening. I could get through to you, don't know what to do to you Anything I say will come off as wrong and you're not alone Something feels out of place but you have no tell It's like we want the same things but the lines we drawn are too parallel I can't sleep when you're not talking to me Woo, it's hot. Okay guys, so, but do y'all want to see some real life? I can show you some real life. So I cleaned my dishes. I got all my dishes done, cleaned my kitchen and stuff. But as you all probably have seen, I did a, sorry, that's Cameron. If you don't know who Cameron is, he's my eight year old autistic son. Um, but I did a bedroom tour, bedroom makeover. And do y'all wanna know the aftermath? Do y'all wanna see behind the scenes? <laughs> Let me show you behind the scenes. <laughs> real life. Whew. This is the stuff that got moved out of my bedroom. I don't know how it all fit in there, but it can't go back in there. So I'm gonna real quick clean this up and hopefully give y'all some, some snap motivation. So, oh, and I almost forgot to remove all of this and it's Mrs. Myers apple cider time. Oh yeah. So in my oven, this took exactly one hour to bake. And you wanna make sure after you pull it out that you put it somewhere for about 20 to 25 minutes to cool and really settle. Because this is so pumpkin-y, it's, it's kind of going to be gooey, but you want to make sure it's not raw gooey. It's just gooey gooey. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sure you're already subscribed to Bethany. I think pretty much everybody here on the Foodie Network <laughs> knows who she is. But if not, if by chance you're not, go head over there and subscribe to her. Her accent alone will snag you and make you want to stay. And let's get into the color. Decoloring. Yeah, we've been doing too much schoolwork, y'all. Decluttering. Here we go. <laughs> All right, see y'all later. Have a blessed morning, evening, and night, whatever it is, wherever you are at.